Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It is Jay from Jaybird TV. Hope you all are staying happy and healthy during this crazy COVID crisis. So, because a lot of us are gonna be at home, you know the whole isolation and quarantine thing, I'm gonna be doing an at-home workout series, and this is part one, which is how to keep those fingers strong. So this is going to be especially for rock climbers, boulders, and those who really need strong fingers. But for those of you who do not climb and just wanna keep a strong grip, it's one of the best signs of being healthy. So just a few things before we jump into this too. Um, this will be one part of a workout series, so it's gonna be things such as push, pull, abs, back, legs, hit and cardio, and things like that. Should be pretty expansive and should cover a lot of ground. Um, the second thing I would recommend is, it's a little challenging being at home and finding the motivation to really hit a hard workout. I find that it's just different being in an environment where you usually relax and usually don't work out. At least I work out at home sometimes, but it's not like being at the climbing gym for me. So I would recommend experimenting with different areas in your house. I've been trying to work out upstairs in my room, uh, in the living room, in the basement, and trying to figure out where psychologically I can really associate a good workout with. And that's been helping me and just kind of playing around and keeping my mind focused on like hitting a hard workout has been really helpful. Second thing is that in a time of isolation, um, I really encourage you to be hitting the workouts. Let's go fam. Um, they make me just feel way less stressed out, way happier, healthier, things like that. And it also encourages me to do things like reach out to people. We're so isolated. Maybe call up someone, you know, see how they're doing. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into this workout series. We're going to be covering from the least equipment possible for those of you who have almost next to nothing in workout equipment. And we're gonna be moving and transitioning into the most climbing specific thing, which would be a hangboard or rock ring. So let's get into this, fam. For the first workout, it's going to be finger curls. And the way you perform finger curls are typically with a dumbbell. And the idea is that you let the dumbbell sit down in your hand and then curl it up into a closed fist position. And this is really working out my forearm. Now, if you're lucky enough to have dumbbells, I would recommend using those. Maybe just hitting for three sets of 10. Whatever you feel is really going to work that forearm. Of course, you wanna hit both sides. And just curl that up into a closed fist position. Now, if you do not have any dumbbells at home, which I'm sure there's plenty of you who do not, here is a creative alternative that I thought of. Simply need a book bag and a bunch of books and load up that book bag with those books. And it may feel a little bit awkward and the range of motion might not be quite as good, but I recommend putting it closer to your fingertips and then simply curl up into that closed fist position. Now, it may not be a perfect replication, but you know what, it'll still work those fingers, and I can still feel it really working. The more weight you load into the backpack, of course, the heavier it's going to be, the harder it's going to be. But, either way, you should be able to find a way to really hit those finger curls. So that'll be exercise number one for the at-home fingers workout. 
All right, the second workout is one that I was told was used by old sailors in order to increase their forearm strength for pulling up ropes. I don't know if that's true, but I know that it really pumps your forearms. It's super easy, just finger flicks. So, putting your arm out straight and pulling your hand back, simply close into a close fist position and then spread your fingers out as far as you can. Really focus on trying to keep like a straight arm and focus on just spreading those fingers out. I'd recommend doing maybe around 30 to 50 of these. And the more control you put into it, the more you're really going to feel that. Yeah, finger flicks. It's a great one for building forearm strength. All right, the next workout is gonna be finger presses. And this is more of an antagonist workout, pushing with your fingertips. And I move to an uneven surface here on the stairs. Um, the more that your body becomes closer to the ground in a true push-up position, the more difficult it's going to be, the more weight you're going to load onto your fingers. So here I just have a slightly uneven surface to make it a little bit easier, and you can even bring up your hands even higher. But essentially what I'm going to do is go into like a push-up like position and push up onto my fingers, to the base of my fingers, the tips of my palms and you will feel it, it really requires quite a lot of strength in the fingers. And this is a great way to build up strength to go into fingertip push-ups, if that's uh, one of your goals. But regardless, it will build strength in your forearms, wrists and fingers, and is a great antagonist to the pulling movement. Now, of course, moving into a little more equipment-based, this is a Red Fox Sports Grip Strengthener. And essentially all you do for this is squeeze and close that fist, close that grip. Um, of course, if you own one of these, it's smart to use and it'll certainly help build strength in your forearm, in your fingers, and in your hands. Um, if you do not own one of these, let's try and find a creative way to duplicate this. All right, this may seem very dumb, but think that uh, it's best to think of all the creative solutions that we can when we're at home. Um, I just grabbed a pair of wool socks and basically just practicing, really squeezing together my hand. And frankly, it feels kind of similar to the, the Red Fox little grip to me thing. So maybe you think this is really dumb, give it a shot, try and find some of the creative solutions, but that is one way to really squeeze the grip. All right, the next workout in the at-home fingers workout protocol is going to be um, like a pinch block, basically. So you may see the climbing gym. There are those pinch blocks that you can hold with weight. We are going to replicate that once again with books. So all I'm doing is squeezing and pinching these books. And basically I'm going to just pinch as hard as I can for about 10 seconds. Then relax it. And then pinch down hard for about 10 seconds. So grab a stack of books. The bigger it is, the harder it'll be. Press those together. All right, fam, before we transition to the really specific uh, equipment section, let's just do one more that I think the majority of you might have, which would be a pull-up bar. And what I'm going to do is basically add weight to my body and just hang from my fingertips. So kind of similar to a hangboard, um, I'm just gonna be doing it by instead of overgripping, bringing it back. Um, I'm using a weight vest. Of course, if you have a weight vest, I highly recommend using it. But if you uh, don't have a weight vest and you want similar effects, uh, go ahead and grab that book bag full of books. Put that on. And you have yourself some weight there. And I'm just gonna go for extra credit and use both. But basically, I'm just going to bring this to my fingertips and engage my shoulders and just hold it there. Of course, you can do some fingertip pull-ups, really anything you want, and we'll cover a lot more on the pulling edition of the at-home workout, but the key here is to really just get on your fingertips and try and do what a hangboard would force you to do by hanging in your fingertips. 
All right, fam, for the next workout, um, this is gonna be using a piece of equipment which is a bucket of rice. So I've talked about this in previous videos. You may have seen my rice bucket video, but it's super easy to get. It's a five pound bag of rice, really whatever kind you want, just put into a tub. And the idea is that you can move your fingers, forearms, hands, wrists in here and build up strength just using the resistance of the rice. Now this also doubles as food uh, during the potential quarantine, so that's really nice. But uh, super easy to get, just go out to your local grocery if you feel comfortable doing so, buy a bunch of rice, and essentially um, just doing different movements in here such as rotating your wrists, I will typically do it for about 30 seconds, squeezing the rice in your hand and gripping it as hard as you can. Once again, pretty similar to the gripping exercise we did previously. Things like rotating your thumbs, flicking your fingers, creating a pinch-like grip with your fingers, and so on and so forth. Get as creative as you like with it, but I guarantee you do about six or seven exercises in here and you're gonna get really, really pumped. Um, the finger flicks are especially brutal. So just white rice, awesome, awesome way to work out at home. And once again, doubles as food. All right, moving into the last two workouts, which are very equipment based, we have rock rings and the hangboard. Um, rock rings are essentially what they sound like, little hangboard rings. The bonus here is that you must stabilize because they are hanging and they have the three different rungs, at least these ones do. Basically all I do is hang them from my pull-up bar and then you can do hangs, pull-ups of course, front lever training, really anything that you could do on a pull-up bar, but you have the bonus of the two finger, three finger, four finger pockets, and of course you can add weight to them and hang as well during any of these workouts. So. Rock ring's really fantastic for doing any pulling type movement, but focusing on that finger strength. Highly recommended. Hey fam, welcome to my sketchy basement. <laughs> this is a very classic Michigan basement under construction. Now if you do have a hangboard at home, of course this is going to be the best way to train your fingers. You can absolutely order one. I believe Amazon is still delivering, once again, out of your comfort level, but a possibility. And this one is pretty basic, just has different grips that you can hang from. And the basis for hangboard training, of course you can do things like um, any pulling movements like pull-ups, but you can basically target your fingers specifically and hangs are really effective. So just two things for your hangs. Um, one, of course you can add weight to make them more difficult. I would recommend if you haven't hangboarded very much, starting light um, with no weight and slowly adding that. Tendons aren't quite like muscles and you have to be a little more careful with them. Um, just really you want to build them up quite slowly. But the idea for hangboarding is that there's two different main ways of hanging. One would be for about seven seconds around your max. Of course, I recommend starting light. The other one is more of a repeater where you would do seven seconds on, seven seconds off, seven seconds on for maybe a minute or something like that. So either the more endurance-based training or the more power-based training. I typically will do seven seconds, um, you know, of whatever weight I can hold. Um, the worst holds that I can. Once again, one, my fingers are warmed up and I'm ready to go, so. These are pretty good holds here, but of course, just want to do an engaged hang. And hang for maybe seven seconds or however long you deem necessary. Um, it's going to be tricky to add a lot of weight at home. You can use that book bag. And I would recommend just going for more time. So maybe just going for the more endurance space. There'll still give you some power to it, but hang for as long as you can. Always keep in good form. 